In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a pair of solar panels, 200 watt solar panels from the company Soul Perk. Check this out. You know what, I just got these in. They came in this box right here. And what I've done, I've repurposed a basketball goal that I had here and I got me a 20 foot solar panel charging cable. And I have these cave, these two solar panels right here are ran in parallel and not series. Now we'll get into that. And what you're gonna have to do is get your adapter right here you see this adapter that goes up to four solar panels can be ran on this one adapter in parallel and then the wire and the adapter right here is going to be called i think it's just the jxm pv solar connector adapter so it's that one 20 foot cable it's just called valimo solar cable so i got both of those so when i got the panels because i knew i was going to have to have a little extra length on that my sun comes right over the top right there and you can see i'm at max sunshine right now and look how it's just shining right on these and let me go over the panel so this is the 200 watt version there are two 100 watt panels this is the monocrystalline panels so they're 100 watt panels a piece 12 volts on voltage 18 point four volts max and then maximum power current is 5.8 5.44 uh, amps open circuit is 22 volts and short circuit is 5.6 amps they are 15 pounds a piece and what i think these would be great for is the top of rvs or a top of like a little shed whether you've got like a shed that you're running solar panels in i don't have a big solar panel set up what i wanted to do was just kind of like get a small little solar panel set up to start putting together something you can see there's two ways of doing it you could connect them in series and not need anything so you just run in series you can run the negative and the positive and positive and the negative run it like that or do what i do and connect them in parallel which gives you which is what i wanted so i went ahead and got me a y connector and uh, did it in parallel and you can see the different things you can put on top of a vehicle you can put it on top of a building or just run it out in your yard and what i did i plugged them into my power bank here so you can see i've got this running into that m i think it's like an m60 look at this everybody i'm getting 162 watts of power coming out of those panels now i know you're like oh there are 200 watt panels you should be getting 200 watts i don't think i've ever got exactly 200 watts on any 200 watt solar panel 163 watts and i've seen it go as high as 170 watts of power and i'm getting really good sun and it's right around mid-october right now so i'm maximizing out my sun for this and this charges this pretty quick that was on 80 just a while ago and it's almost 90 now you can see right there it says 1.6 hours to fully charge this thing and that's very impressive for that and let me just show you what i'm working on so i've got a 3000 watt inverter right here i've got a solar controller that i'm going to hook up to it and two 100 amp hour batteries that's going to be running this and it's all going to be charged by the soul perk 200 watt solar panels i know a lot of you guys out there are probably like oh 200 watts is not going to be enough to charge that but you know what it's been charging it i've been running it i run a deep freeze on it and i also charge batteries e-bikes and things like that on this thing it works just fine everybody i highly recommend these panels i think this is a great addition to anybody that's just wanting to have something on a shed on top of a boat an rv or something like that I, they're not travel panels these are you want to hard mount them like i did i screwed them in on this thing and i've just got some additional <laughs> kind of hooks there to hold them on there it is everybody that's all i got on the the soul perk solar panels see you on the next video